Hi, and welcome to Two Tired Teachers. Today we want to talk to you about weighing your tow vehicle and your trailer, or your RV. And the real reason you need the weight on your RV is two reasons. One is you want to make sure that you do not exceed the weight that the axles of your trailer, fifth wheel, whatever, can safely carry. And the other is to make sure you haven't exceeded the tow capacity of your tow vehicle. And so, the first step is to locate a place that has scales that will weigh vehicles. And all you have to do is go to Google, look up CAT, C-A-T, scales, and Google will pop up a map and you can see locations around you. You can download an app so that you never have to talk to anybody. Um, two reasons we didn't do that. One is a little bit old school and I, I like getting information so that I'm sure that I understand correctly before I put a credit card in anywhere. <laughs> and the other is our phones just yeah. didn't have the capacity to um, download an app. Yeah. So I called the lady and explained the situation that I needed to bring my truck and weigh it and then I was going to need to come back the next morning with a trailer. And so the cost for the first way is eleven dollars and fifty cents, or at least as of the time that we and filmed where this. we were. Uh, it was eleven fifty, and then if you come back within twenty four hours, the second way is just two dollars. And so uh, we went and weighed the truck, and I then went inside, and she gave me the printout showing the weight of the truck. The next morning we went and um, the trailer was loaded ready for a trip we had i mean we had stuck we put everything in the bed of the truck made sure that it was completely loaded we went, we're heading yes. out on a thousand mile trip and so we thought this would be a good time to to check that while we were fully loaded uh i mean we had the generator we had eight gallons of water for the dogs we had fake firewood we had a lot of things that added weight yes. to the bed of the truck and then we had everything, cases of water, soft drinks, everything in the RV that was going to add some weight. The only thing we didn't have in the RV, and that was a full uh, fresh water tank. Yes. And your RV somewhere will show you either how many gallons of fresh water you can hold, and you can multiply that times eight, or there'll be a sticker. Ours has this little yellow sticker that shows us that how much our full fresh water tank uh, ways and it's so just over 300 isn't it it was not a hard process at all the really one of our biggest concerns was driving around with that many 18 wheelers yes and in a parking it, lot and they know what they're doing and they're trying to back into spaces so they can get some rest and this was a really and the boy the locations that these scales are going to be you're going to have a lot of 18 wheelers and so that was really the only thing but uh, and then I do want to just go on and tell you this at hours. I was glad we'd done it just in the truck first. When you came off of that scale, there was a really bad dip there. Yes. And I'm thinking that maybe something that ha is at a lot of them because of the weight of those trucks. As you're coming off of that concrete scale, if it's uh, just asphalt or something, that's a lot softer surface. And so it'll bear the brunt of that. But anyway, just to be safe, you might want to go get your trailer weight. Okay. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching, watching Two Tired, Tired Teachers. teachers.